What's up gamers, it's Ryan Smith back from Ryan Gamers to complete my next video of MinecraftWorlds.com. So today I will be telling you about the most recommended Minecraft plugins for a Minecraft server. Uh, so let's get started. So in the case of Spigot, if you're using the Spigot version, you can get the Spigot Essentials. The links will be in the description and same for the uh, essentials for bucket you'll get the link in the description below down there so here's the spigot essentials you can get from here it's recommended for uh, spigot 1.8 to spigot uh, maybe spigot 1.7 to spigot 1.8.9 and you I recommend if you want to use uh, for Spigot 9 1.9. It won't be a problem actually. Yes, it should work. Yep, it will work. That's right. Spigot 1.9. Yes, it will work. 1.9 up to 1.9.4. Then you may change to Essentials X. What is Essentials X? You'll get to know soon. So, for the Group Manager. Now, what is Group Manager? Let me just tell you. The Group Manager is a permissions managing uh, plugin. It's made by the people who created Essentials, so it's the most recommended permissions uh, plugin. Uh, I recommend it myself, so you guys should use that as a uh, group manager. So the new version of group manager is designed just for Minecraft 1.9 and above to 1.10 is Essentials Group X Group Manager. So here it is. Essentials X Group Manager, Essentials Group Manager, it says you'll get this link in the description below. And to download this, you're just gonna click on this, and the file will start downloading. You can click. I already have it, so you'll you'll get this file. You can open it up, click on Target, and you'll get the zip file. Uh, sorry, the jar file just over here. You're just gonna drag it to your plugins folder, and for the Essentials, you're just gonna download all of these and put it to your plugins folder and that should install it and give a quick restart so now we go on to our next plugin that is so we will be looking for the world edit of 1.9 to 1.10 it should work with the ones that for previous versions so here's the world edit page this one will work for uh, Minecraft 1.9.4 up to there and I think there's official release for 1.10 or even if there's not it'll be there soon so world edit what exactly world edit does is you get a wand in your hand in which you can uh, select other tools you'll just see the gameplay of it just within a minute so here it is so I am on the ultra MC server which belongs to me and I'll be showing how to use world edit in just a bit of parts so you have a wand use it to do anything that may just easier than you can with the hand like for example if I select these two portions you can do set air to create land and if you want like uh, over here you can select uh, blah, blah, blah. you can just select over here you can do set diamond and much more see that you can do a lot of things and you do slash slash help you see the entire uh, world edit thing and you can do a lot of it so if I want to do if I want to create a, a cylinder I'll do like five a diamond five five and there you go I have this this large ugly structure is made by me blah anyways this is the usefulness of world edit and why you should get it so head to the link of world edit and get it now the link is in the description below so let's head to our next plugin that is so comment guard what can you do with this plugin with this plugin you can do everything that you don't want to do and that you want to do and that you need for the server uh, so this server requires world edit that I have installed and I just showed previously right now so using uh, world edit we can create regions of world guard that is using RG define uh, test and now 
now over here you can make changes using your flag command attribute of the RG command so into uh, RG flag and the name of the area or the region they named it I named it test and to see the uh, flags available you can go over here so uh, here are all the variables they can have so like if you want this and do uh, test build false I know build true okay no sorry it's not true it's, it's Denny deny sorry or uh, I'm gonna set it to uh, allow because I don't want to protect the unnecessary area so, and over here you can put like a PvP allow and stuff anything that you want you can put creeper explosions creeper explosion denny or deny blah so where can you get this plugin so the link is just right over here uh, well here's a page and the link will be in the description below as I've mentioned previously so this is the link for the 1.9 and the 1.10 version will also work for 1.8 I suppose but I recommend it using for only 1.9 and 1.10 so this is a fixed version of spigot you can also get the normal version of world guard uh, this is just world edit blah, 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 blah. you could like search over here world World Guard on the bucket page, and you'll get the World Guard for your bucket. Uh, blah. Anyways, I'll just talk about Spigot. And here is the 1.9, 1.10 for this. Oh, sorry, that's the lightning from the game. Blah. Anyways, to get World Guard, you're just gonna click download. You're gonna put this in the plugins folder. It has all the fixes and things. In the command list, you can find it on the official page of World Guard. This is just a fixed version, and you can use all the params in the game. So yes, uh, let's move on to the next plugin, which is really useful, and I love this plugin because it's my favorite. So here is the plugin Volt. Ha! <laughs> just joking, it's not my favorite. But it is really useful if you're a programmer or it's also required for the other plugins like a dependency to them. What it basically does is it uh, takes the permissions of the plugin and the tasks and commands of it and it directly hooks it to the server files. That's what it states over here. I cannot really explain it up to the mark because I'm not a programmer yet. But this plugin is a dependency for permissions 3b permissions px root managers well these plugins are supported and they are dependency for other plugins like chess shop and economical plugins like you know, economy and yeah so it's highly recommended it doesn't really have any commands to use in game but it's really important you require this plugin for many many other plugins like mini games as well so let's move on to the next plugin that is and yes this is my favorite plugin why is it my favorite plugin because it takes out all the stupid lag from your server and it does it by limiting the entities which are the mobs in the server it decreases the ram cpu usage means the ram that is being used on your vps or the host it decreases it and frees the ram which makes it even more faster reduces the lag blah this is why the lag is reduced it limits the entity as i said is permission support blah 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 it also removes the floors on the item that are away from a certain radius from the player or that have remained on the floor since a lot of time and this is the best plugin it's most recommended plugin by me if you would want don't want lag on your server so here are the commands <laughs> lag clear lag you can also uh, get the plugin and check the TPS on your server uh, by doing slash GC it says the DPS is 20 and to do this uh, command you require essentials that I just showed you searching oh sorry that's not a spelling of essentials it's this I've shown you this at the starting of the tutorial is the first plugin that I just introduced you to 
is essentials and this plugin is required to do the slash gc command where you can see the tps is slash gc but if you don't know so tps is a 19.94 which is not which is the best it's not bad because 20 is the highest tps that there can be on servers and my server is running really well over here and so is my game it's running at good chunks so anyways guys if this has helped you these plugins are the best to start off your server you're gonna need these plugins you're not gonna need these plugins nah that's impossible these plugins are gonna pull themselves to you or you're gonna be pulled to them by me ha <laughs> because these plugins they're the most important required plugins to start up your server become more successful and have a lot of players on the server and prevent lag blah 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 you know the users of them you can read them on their page all links are provided in the description below and all i can say right now to you is nothing but whoa, whoa!